What are some of the most common problems with the screenplays? John Costello, in his book Writing a Screenplay, tells us about what Elliot Grove, the founder of Raindance Film Festival, thinks. 1. Writing a story where the hero does not have clearly defined wants and needs. 95% of the stories fail because of this. Think of some of the most popular films in the history of cinema. Did the protagonists clearly know what they wanted to achieve? Take Andy Dufresne from The Shawshank Redemption. What does he want to do? What about Clarice Starling in The Silence of the Lambs? Having clearly defined wants and needs usually makes the characters more relatable. 2. Writing a story which is not commercially viable The great William Goldman famously said that in Hollywood nobody knows anything. I don't know. It is almost impossible to know for sure if a film is going to be a box office hit or flop. The producers of La La Land didn't think it would do so well in the box office. And obviously Warren Beatty, the producer of Ishtar, didn't think it would do so poorly. Otherwise he would never have made it. But there are a few things we can be certain about. A film that is too long is not marketable, and therefore a screenwriter will have to try to keep the page count to under 120. Actually, the sweet spot is anywhere from 105 to 115. Likewise, an incredibly slow-paced screenplay is probably less likely to be purchased. 3. Presenting a screenplay in incorrect format this may sound self-explanatory, but again, there are screenwriters who fail to do so. Of course, nowadays computer programs such as Final Draft, Kid Scenarist, Movie Magic Screenwriter, or Studio Binder have done a great job minimizing this problem in particular. 4. Writing a story where there is no ghost or backstory, or writing a story where the hero overcomes the ghost too easily. Costello defines ghost earlier in the book as something in the hero's backstory from which he can't hide, something that haunts him. Usually adding a ghost to any character instantly makes him or her more interesting and compelling. It gives the characters more to deal with. Several examples immediately come to mind. Bruce Wayne is haunted by his parents' death, and Peter Parker is haunted by his Uncle Ben's murder. 5. Writing a story containing characters the audience cannot identify with. What kind of characters can't the audience identify with? It's a long discussion and we'd better leave it for another more comprehensive video, but feel free to tell me what you think in the comments below. Your comments are always appreciated. If you liked the video, please subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.